Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to extend mail with Mail Act On. So Mail Act On is an extension that you can purchase and it adds functionality to mail. It's one of those things I just can't live without. And let me show you what it does. So once you've installed Mail Act On, if you go to Mail Preferences and then go to Rules, you'll see that you have actually three different sets of rules, not just one. You've got Inbox Rules which correspond to the basic rules that you would have without Mail Act On. You also have Outbox Rules and Act On Rules. So Act On Rules will do something when you press a key. So this is very useful. So for instance the defaults here are to color a message red or yellow with R or Y. Now to use these what you need to do is hold the Control key down and use that command. So Control R will color that message red. You can see it is. Control Y will color it yellow. Now here's something much more useful. I'm going to create a act on rule called save. And it's going to apply to any message. And I'm simply going to move messages to the saved mailbox. I'm going to assign the M key to it. So now I've got that save rule there. So now when I read a message like this and I just want to move it to the save folder, instead of having to drag and drop it, I just use Control M and it moves in there. And there it is inside of the folder. One great thing you can do is undo any of these actions when you've just implemented them. So I'm going to Control M to move it and realize, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I look at the Edit Undo and it says Undo Apply Act On Rule. And sure enough, it puts it back in the inbox. Now let's take a look at the preferences for Mail Act On itself. You can see it here right next to Rules. And you've got a lot of different things you can do. You can set up specific menus to appear using these F keys here. You can also modify how messages are marked as read in mail. So instead of having them marked immediately as read you can have a delay or not to mark them as read at all uh, until you do something like say press the space bar. Uh, in addition you've got menu, menu windows that will come up uh, with those keyboard shortcuts and you can set how they appear. And also results come up. You get these little notifications. You can see because they were just off of my screenshot uh, showing exactly what Mail Act On is doing as you issue commands. So here are some of those menus. If you do F1 you get this main menu here and you can do all sorts of things like apply act on rules. You can actually just hit the A key from this point here and it will show you all the rules that I've assigned so far. You can also do some various other things. I can use arrow keys to move between these so I can, don't have to have my fingers leave the keyboard if I don't want to. Also you can do F2 to just jump right to some of these rules. You can also set some preferred folders up uh, under the menus preference move to preferred folder and I can set some up in here. So for instance uh, do saved, do uh, sent, and do deleted messages. And now when I do uh, function 6, F6, I can actually just jump right to these. So another way to just quickly shuffle your incoming messages into various folders with just a few key presses. So and obviously you can get a lot more complex with this by assigning different types of rules. You can do all the same stuff that you do with regular rules in mail. So you can even go with Apple scripts. You can have nested rules with all sorts of uh, different actions that are performed. And you can just basically assign those to keyboard shortcuts. So check it out. There is a free trial available so you can see exactly how it works before you purchase. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.